greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And on a special tea time, I wish to discuss something that has been pretty much poisoning the internet for the last maybe ever since the site started. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably 2005. And you probably all know it by one word that irks me, irks everyone else, uh, or how to put it, irks those like me who are just caught up in the mess. Yeah. It goes by the name of feminism. You know, the reason why we have things like Feminist Frequency, uh, shows like The Middle, oh, that are supposed to be cultural feminism and action kind of thing. Uh, I know most people don't look at it that way, but I do. I, I tend to see this matriarchy as well, as well just like those even though I'm not a masculinist in any way either. I'm neither. I don't plan to be either one. <sighs> However, I can't help but to think at times it's failed. It has failed and it has failed royally. I feel like we just try to find entertaining ways to make it look cool and awesome so they can get girls out of those bad homes and bad places in their lives. But in reality, what needs to be changed is the laws. It's gone from being, oh, well, nobody being equal. You know, only one side being equal, and the other side not being equal. Hmm. So, to the whole world, hating on both genders. Oh, and not just... Genders. I know I have a tendency to throw in stuff about kids, and the reason why I do it is because every time I think about it, I feel pretty much the only people who are really at who are really hurting, honestly, are the children. You know, not just children like the ones you see on television today who act like complete and total brats. It's, again, feminist brainwashing. That's what it's starting to sound like. They not saying. That's saying, I don't want rights, I want my rights, I do think I should be treated equally, but now I think I've moved past that being the thing, okay? And I guess the way it's failed nowadays is, one being, whenever I watch a TV show and I see 40-year-old women acting like, well, pains and necks because, well, Oh, I'm 40, I've got new wrinkles and laugh lines. It's because I lived my life, I was happy. You really regret the fact that you were 16, you were happy. Considering the depression rate amongst most teenagers when they're 16. Yeah. I don't get it. Now, it affects men, too. Masculinist movement, masculine movement has changed a few things. Hopefully, they'll continue to change things. I'm thankful that we have both sides. Hopefully, we'll get to a point where that movement will no longer be ridiculed and will actually take the rape thing of men seriously. But, just like we do with women. Because I hear about that all the time, and I tend to think, no, these are. This is where I feel feminism has failed. Out there, too. Is that. It's kind of like, well, we gotta find something for these angry, frustrated housewives who have nothing to do. Something to do. And it hasn't stopped just on television. Oh, God, I wish it had. But. Another reason why I can't believe in it anymore is all the stuff I see online that actually uh, kind of fights against it. 
and not because, oh well, there's a backlash against it because it's made out of anger. No, the backlash is legit. Absolutely legit. Men, you have just about the same rights as I do. Get upset at someone getting raped, at raping you. I never thought that, that happened to you folks. I legitimately apologize for those women because I feel. Who said that gave you the right to do that? I mean, yes, I would like to punch a guy in the face. It's for, you know, trying to, you know, put, trying to make a move or cop a feel on me. Because I feel that is not the way you're supposed to treat a lady. That is no way to treat anybody. You wouldn't want someone physically touching you when you ask that not to be. Why would you want that being done to you? But there's tons of men who do this. I know this sounds like a rant rather than a personal question, but I do have to ask, how many of you are feminists? And when I say this, how many of you are pro-feminists? Like, when I say feminist, I'm not stating like, oh yeah, you're feminist as in you're the male feminist who says, that does it, I'm going to give those women what, I'm going to give those men who think raping a woman is a-okay. No. Not like that. No. I'm not saying a radical feminist. Hell, no. No, 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 no. You do not have to be on the side of that for one second. <laughs> no, I'm saying, after seeing all this, do you feel feminism has failed? You as a man, like, it keeps promising, oh, it's going to take care of my needs as well. Because I've done something nice for this woman, she's going to do something nice for me in return. Because I can believe that. That's why a lot of women who are feminists tend to ask. That it's going to benefit men. When in reality, it doesn't really benefit you, does it? And I agree with this. I don't think it can benefit you. I think it's more of, well, if you help me scratch your back, maybe there's a way I can help you scratch yours. First. You know, so I say, oh, and then, which is talk to the girls, and this is the other side of that conversation. Do you feel feminism has failed you as well? I mean, I hear about abortion clinics getting shut down, and I can believe feminists are behind it as well. Oh, go figure. I also believe it's religious figures, too. And men, but I do believe that there are women out there who think, well, we're not putting up with those sluts who make us look bad. You know, their support of thinking women are supposed to be these sluts who sleep around. And, you know, they're not really fair to the idea that you should be able to do whatever you want with your sex, with your sex life. You should be free to do that. Both should be equally free to do it. Okay, without these mom and dad corporations telling us what we can and cannot do. I mean, I hate saying this, but last time I checked... The government is not our parents. The government is not our mom and dad. They are not in charge of that lifestyle. Now, you're right. There are certain laws that need to be made, and in a way, you could argue the government is like a parent. And the difference is, do we need to have a government to be our parents? Is it necessary for there to be one? And if the answer is no, then I guess we're on the right track. Anyways, thanks for listening, and please subscribe, follow me on my Tumblr and my Twitter, and have a great night, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. As well as, uh, masculine, masculinist and feminist.